Hello guys, you're welcome back to another tutorial lesson. My name is John. So today I just want to explain this um sort of notation of a thing, sort of a gay, okay? So someone said here he wants to know the names representation. You know some people learn piano with sort of notation, why some people didn't learn sort of notation. Some people learn straightforward with the names of the keys. C D E F G A B C so assuming now we're in the key of C now, okay. I just run the case the scale on this on key C. Okay. That is C D E F G A B C. Now if you want to run the, the chromatic scale to be something like uh, sorry. Okay, like that, like that. So, chromatic scale consists of all the notes, both the minors and the so. So, if we are in the key of C now, your key C here <coughs> in self notation <coughs> will be do. Now, the important of this self notation is that it's applicable to all keys. Okay, not that on key C I have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, F sharp, I have F, F, F sharp. And G sharp, A sharp, though you can use this in any key, the way me first last do. Okay, so this key C now in the key of key C, this one will be represented with do, do, C, do, used to be re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So the, the, they are represented on the screen, the letters is just D, D for do. R for re, me like that, like that. So, so is that sometimes you see some people say D more fi re. Okay, now those one um, are, the, are the minor notes. Okay, like now this in the key of C, this is the minor note. This one, two, three, this one, these are the minor notes in key C. Okay, so so if this one now is your do now, this one next. In the key, same key of key C will be with, uh, D, okay, Do, D, D, I, okay. This will be Re, this one will be more. Then come to me, Fa, after Fa, we have Fi, then So. After So is um, Z, Z, yeah. Then after Z, La. After la to, then come to t, then do. So you can use this represent. So as you might come on to, to break down your song, and I was like, this the the notes is do me. So I'm using my chord one, or I say I'm using chord do. What I mean is I'm using the chord of do here. Okay. Now the thing is that this this uh, software notation can be used only in tried most of the time. So uh, if I go advanced like this, it's no longer. I play call like this, it's no longer do again, it's a string to another key. So it's mostly used by beginners, okay? To know your tried chord. Most especially the, the major scale tries, okay? So, as I said, so you can use it in F sharp, D, you can use it to teach yourself as a beginner, okay? It's very important. Um, some people prefer super notation because you can use super notation. Like people play saxophone now, they use sofa notation most of the time because when they, when you get the sofa notation, they can convert it to the key they want, even on keyboard and bass guitar. Okay, so sofa notation is a very good thing for you to learn. You should know it. So, so when we come, we'll be talking about chromatic scale fully and uh, chromatic passing notes, chromatic passing chord. You'll see the usefulness of all these, all these minor notes. Okay, so today I just want to explain what they, they are all about. Okay. So this one now, if I say called Do, I mean Do, in, yeah, this is my, my major, my, my C major notes. Okay, if I say Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, just like that. So that is all about soft rotation, soft again, okay? So thank you very much for watching this short video. I will see you in the next video, okay? A uh, lot that's coming. There are a lot you can learn from this channel, so try and subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed, okay? And introduce it to your friends, your family, relatives, okay? 
so thank you so much i've received a lot of subscribers for the meantime so thank you very much for your support and i need more of you to subscribe to my channel so thank you very much god bless you see you tomorrow